Diamond City Radio. If if you're listening at all. Good evening, guys. Oops. Oh, it changed. Good. Good evening, guys. Sorry for the late stream. Um, it's just kind of messing around on the computer, and I lost track of time. So, here I am. I'll probably stream until 2 a.m. I have no work tomorrow. So, should be fun. Exploring with Nick Valentine, Mr. Detective Valentine. Should be fun. <sighs> Time to go to Good Neighbor. Dude, how's it going? You're up late, doctor. That's right. How long are you staying up tonight? Gotcha. I hope I don't make you bored. Sweet. So, how are you? I hope your shoulder feels better soon. Um, I'm okay, just a little tired. Long day at work. A lot of stalking in the um, beauty department. Cosmetics and, you know, toiletries and all that shenanigans. Is this with mods? Is this with mods? I've already beaten the game. So I'm just doing mods. And for some reason, one of the mods escalated my level up high. And I don't know why, but it just did. So it's like, okay, I'm kind of OP. Oh my god, I totally missed. Ow. Sorry, Nick.
Come at me, bruh. Oh my god, I forgot my character looks like 007, a female version of 007. Come here, I want to smack you. Thank you. Ow! Stop! Back off. Yes, I am a dork and I'm proud of it. Excuse me. Hey, Johnny. Come here, bruh. Okay, this is rather awkward. Picking a lock during a gunfight, okay. Come here. Bye bye, gun. What do you mean by that, doctor? Oh. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I, I don't know what their lingo is, but I don't know. to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? We're working together, yeah. Really? Well, you're in luck. I got a special offer on some insurance for partners of the great gumshoe here. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just... Say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? I'm sorry, Valen uh, Valentine. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me for I have sinned. you care? She ain't one of us. No love to They thought he might be dead. Or destroyed. Who do you think had actually won the We keep letting outsiders walk all over us. Someone named Big Maybell says there's a whole lot of shaking going on. Probably for me. I mean, it's fair. It's fair to say that's that's probably accurate. She's she's tremulous. Well, well, Mr. 
Mr. Valentine. I thought you had hey, Valentine. About the Let's go talk to Amari. He may have walked out of the den or not, but I never walked out on you. Hmm. Amari's on the stairs. He's shaking for the shit. What do you mean shaking? Oh, the song. The song. Okay. Gotta love the fort. Um, 1950, 1940s type music. I love it. I love it. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Vic told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have Man, she looks like me after a long day at work. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Skip to the good part, Doc. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine, assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. Hey. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Hey, no pushing. Nick is being pushy. Shame on him. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find.
are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCI would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it. When it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know it. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Anybody here? And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of... Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. That's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. No, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy. It makes me a little worried. Right. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory.
How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Oh, Doctor. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Another memory to try. I'll connect it. Give Kellogg some alcohol. And he's kind of drunk. And he had a gun. What could possibly go wrong? Don't get me started. Mind if we... There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but... Uh, Dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat. Oh, never mind. That was usually I misread that. When I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Sit down. Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try oh, come step. on. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really.
This is the one. Here. Open it. Finish, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Uh, all right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X-688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay. 
I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this. Uh, no. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. We need to find Virgil. Then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? He not dead. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. The We're game glitched. For the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Supposed to be dead, dude. Supposed to be dead. But no. No. Damn game glitched. Oh well.
I think I will as soon as I find one. Probably stick a hot potato down his pants to watch him dance. I don't know, don't mind me. Stop it.
Hey. Oh, those are on stairs. Ow. Stop it. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry I pissed off the super mutant. Hey Nick, you were freaky when it's dark. Giddy a buttercup head? What the heck? Okay. I'll look at it later. No, but eventually I'll get the DLC. I'd love to get the DLC. Oh, what the hell?
Come here. Nick? Hit you in the butt. What? What? I hit you in the butt. Come here, corporal. Corporal. Come here. Boop. Hey, I saved your butt, you jerk. I saved your butt. Someone needs to change your freaking attitude, jerk. You booped everyone for ya. Saved your life. Does anyone else want to be booped? Boop. Boop. Okay guys, if anyone else wants to get booped, Now's the time, or forever hold your peace. Yo. Well, Johnny there. Don't test me then, and you won't get booped with the butt of a rifle. Not really, I'm kidding. Only if it was in-game, maybe, but no. Like in Fallout 76. Maybe. But, I don't know. Not in real life. Definitely not in real life. Oh my gosh. I remember those days. Those Mario Kart 8 Deluxe days. Man, I should have brought my fat man in mini nuke. That would have made things interesting.
Come here. Come here. Boop. Ow. That poor mythic death claw got booped. must be the epicenter of where some of the bombs hit. Excuse me. Okay, Mr. Deathclaw, you're gonna get booped. Boop. And you too, Scorpion. There you go. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. Yes, gotta love the mods. That's the reason why. Okay, gotta help Sir Nick. Boop. And one thing I'm questioning right now. If I could get up there again. Why does the scorpion... Why is he carrying a toy alien? I don't understand. Why? Maybe... The scorpion needed something to sleep with? What's the point? That's just creepy. He ate it. He probably ate a kid. Okay, I gotta help Nick. Come here, buddy. Where the heck are you? Nick, why are you firing at? Oh, it's gone. Probably despawned or he killed it. No? Get it. That was personality. Personality. Yeah, Rad Storm. Here's a thing. A sort of uh, note, I guess. Um, from Father here, and I'll. Uh, Diamond City Surplus, now open 24 hours a day. Management reserves the right to refuse service to anyone, especially since... Crater of the Atom. Here's hmm. the end of the world with Skeeter David. Well, I don't know. No one's mad at their skeets, but uh, that's just me. I love the me metallic glow. That's pretty. But definitely deadly in real life. Okay, hippie. I guess I need to talk to you. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Poor Grell, Adam. What's going on here? Adam reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes. We know this Virgil. What do you want with him? 
I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. These be hippies. I don't know. Don't mind me. It's probably mean to say. Gotcha. Getting bitten by mosquitoes. Come here, mosquito. Skeeter. Skeeter, deeter, deeter. Boop, boop, boop. Hit. That was a total miss. It's so awkward. Hold it. Come here, friend. No sudden moves. I know you're from the east. I don't know. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. You're gonna end up just as dead if you don't give me what I want. Dead. I did not mean to threaten him. Dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna fix the sound. For so many years, I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? 
Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? That doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed as your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there. But I want something in return. You help me, and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you are going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right, let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of him. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. Sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT directly above the Institute, so you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal. Alright, Doctor, have course, um, a good man. night's rest Just well. Not Thank you for kill. coming. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. And now, uh, a word for several from our sponsors. Feeling tired? Need it, pick me up. Need it, pick me up. Visit Chemicare and get a prescription today.
day. A balanced life through chemistry. Rocket 69 is next. And, I mean, huh, you don't hear them singing about the other 68 rockets. It kind of makes you think. Use that. You got it. Yo. Someone's coming. Someone's out there. Where am I going? I think what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to call it a night as soon as I defeat this courser. Once we defeat the courser, um, we'll continue on maybe tomorrow. But I um, might be doing Elder Scrolls Online tomorrow. But we shall see. If I get up early enough, I could do more of this. Oop. We found it, guys. Now it's just a matter of time. Oh, there's the entrance. Yay, we found it. Time to put that music back on. Here we go. Excuse me. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we?
Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Ow. Boop. Thank you. Oh my god. Stop it. Give me them cats. Come here. Ooh, I love that so much. Okay. Fall back to original position. The here in the That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, great. I need. Ah. Come here. Boop. 
Kaka. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gun. Are you here for the scent? What scent? If you're not here for the sin, then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have. Too bad. Take that snazzy uniform, too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, Master Great. Right? Okay, I suck at hacking. It's conspiracy, I tell you. Conspire. Or throw. Holy shist. Part scent? Of course. I guess you wouldn't know, would you? Hey there. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth. If you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just... 
Didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Well, you need a hug? <clears throat> Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. Okay. If you don't want a hug, it's okay with me, I guess. Nick, what are you doing? You're lucky I don't kill you. You keep pushing me. Time to go back to Good Neighbor. Dr. Amari? You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. 
But I need a code from a Corsair ship. A Corsair ship? You fought a Corsair? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that ship does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance of cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that. Hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. There we go. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's 2.05 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, I need some sleep, so if my body allows me to get up a wee bit early, I'll stream some more. And, um, whoever's, you know, any new viewers, feel free to press that like button or that follow button. Um, I much appreciate that. And thank you for the love and support, too. I appreciate that as well. But I'm gonna head to bed. I'm exhausted. Long day at work. And there went Valentine creeping across the screen but anyways you guys have a wonderful night hopefully I'll see you in the morning or in a few hours and you guys have a wonderful day and all that stuff yeah I'm tired as you can tell and I apologize all right night guys